Hello there. We are doing a our third Universal Yum box for the country Poland today. I'll hand this over to you. Thank you. We're gonna get rolling with Tapsy cheese and onion chips. <coughs> this will look like. <laughs> Tapsy cheese and onion chips. Okay, it says. The cheese and onion flavor is distinctly Polish, often found inside pierogi or baked into pie as well. Can't go wrong with that. Thank you. Ooh, those smell. smell good. Hey, Cranky Pot. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good texture. That's really good. Thick and crunchy. Um, they remind me of a. Uh, Trying to think which chips cheddar sour cream. They're kind of they're mixed with rice flour, so they aren't pure potato. They remind me of a what are the kind of foamy, crunchy ones? Pop chips. Something like the pop chip. Very good. I'm gonna give those. I'm gonna give those a four. Me too. All right. You gonna go along with four? Yeah. Not super cheesy. Not super oniony. Still good. Next, Vavil milk is. It's milk in a tube. Hmm. Hmm. The Milkies bar is a chocolate bar with uh, milk chocolate surrounding a uh, sweetened condensed milk. Ooh, I like sweetened condensed milk, so this is sounding good to me. Even though I'm not a huge chocolate fan, as you know, if you tuned into our previous videos. There's the center. Wanna try it? How is it? There's another mm. square per person. To me, it almost tastes like coconut. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a junior mint. Only not as minty. Mm. I'm gonna give that a three. That's yeah. just average to me. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. Okay, next, Dobosh chocolate plum. Mm. Tangy <laughs> dried plums back. covered with cocoa filling, dipped into smooth dark chocolate. Hmm. One for you. One for you. I'm kind of excited about this because I really like prunes. Oh, will someone save me a bite of theirs? <laughs> there appears to only be two. It's okay. Mmm. I kind of like it. I really like that. Yeah. It's not bad. I really like that. That a four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that a lot. Did she try it yet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really, really like that. That's a trash pile. So we'll give that a four. Oh, I don't have a snack yet. Hold on. <laughs> Next, Copernic Pure Nixie with rose filling. Hmm. Sweet rose filling and spiced gingerbread. I'm not sure I'll like that because I'm not always a fan of flour flavorings. As we learned in the... Mm -hmm. As we learned with the violet chocolate from France. What do we think? Mm. I'm sitting mm -hmm. at like a two. Mm. It's very different. It is different. Good asking, please, baby girl. It's not too rosy. I like it more than I was afraid I would. Yeah. But I'm still sitting at a two. It's got a pang. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a two. Maybe a three. I don't think it's that bad. I'd, I'd go three. Think she likes it. <laughs> okay, Anyone else we'll go three. One? We'll go three now. I don't want another one. We'll go three. Mm. Axam peanuts with paprika. I think we will like that. 
smoky, slightly sweet zinger of a snack. Good. I think everybody likes them so far. The peanut? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, these are good. Mm. Yeah, those are pretty good. Mm. But they're also yeah. like kind of bland. I wish there were a complimentary flavor. Yeah. I always wish it was a little spicier. Uh -huh. I think because they're red. I want them to be spicier than they are. Yeah. Yeah. But I do like them. Mm -hmm. I'll go four on that. What about you? <clears throat> I'm at a three. Yeah, three. Okay, we'll give that a three. Okay, next up. Crocky Milky Cream Fudge. More sweet milk. All right. What do they look like? Yeah, they're in little wrapped. Milky cream fudge. Hard and crispy outer shell and soft inside. Hmm. I like the packaging. It's easier to open. I see it has cow on it. Oh, but it does. Cute. Huh. It looks more like a caramel than a fudge to me. Ugh. <laughs> that wasn't a good noise. Mmm. But the texture is more like fudge. Now that tastes like condensed milk to me. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. Jake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that too. That tastes a lot more like fudge. I mean, it's more textured like fudge. For me, this is a five. <laughs> this is a two to me. Okay. I would go five on that. No, that's right up my alley for a sweet. <laughs> two fives and a two. So we'll go two five. <laughs> Next, Misaka fruit jellies. There's four different flavors of these. Do we want to split up the flavors or just kind of... Looks like we've got... There should be red raspberry, sweet pineapple, sour orange, and lemon citrus. Okay. What are you going with? Big raspberry. Red raspberry. You don't want I would pineapple? Like sour orange. There's sour orange. Did you want to try sour orange with me? Yes. Ooh, please, she says. Okay. What's in the back? I yeah. like that. I think that's how you're supposed to open it. Very nice. Oh, they're covered in chocolate. Ah. I was not expecting that. I dropped mine. They're covered in chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, the sour orange is fantastic. Oh, I think it's really good too. It tastes just good. The sour orange is fantastic. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I give those a four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would actually like them better without the chocolate, but that's just my own weirdness. Yeah. All right. Next, Soleo caramel pretzels. Mm. I'm probably butchering these names, in which case I apologize to all my... Polish friends of which I have zero. Mm -hmm. Caramel pretzels. Well, I just demolished the packaging here, so hopefully these are good enough to eat all of. So they remind me a little bit of Pocky. Mm -hmm. Just looking at them. I like them. Mm -hmm. If you want to stick. Bite. Gotta bite it. I don't think there's enough caramel on them. Mm, I disagree. I wish there were more salty pretzels. Really? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that would, if they like had like some sea salt or something on them. That'd be good. They're really, really thin. Yeah. Hmm. They're well, good not bad though. though. Yeah. Yes, little girl, you did just bite your girl now. Okay. What are we going to give that? I'd say four. I'll go four on that. I would buy this. Okay. Yeah. I'll go four. I'll go with four. 
Next, <coughs> bubble tiki tacky. Okay, bubble tiki tacky. So these are like a peanut butter coconut. Yeah. <coughs> peanut butter coconut. Okay. The packaging is definitely not the easiest to get open. Hand bar. Yeah. We're working on the next snack, sweet girl. Oh, perfect. There's three little squares. Excellent. It's supposed to be peanut butter and coconut. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get mine. Here you go. Take a bite. Use your teeth. There you go. Good job. Yeah. I don't get a lot of peanut butter oats. Or coconut. Or coconut. Mm -mm. It's just really rich chocolate. I'm going to go two on that one. Anyone yeah. else want another square? I'm no. Yeah. I'm going to go two. Me Bit too. chocolate, but doesn't pull my skirt up. Yeah. Okay, next. Dolbish Rainbow Marshmallow. Hmm. I'm not a huge marshmallow person. Oh, You're supposed to put it in the fridge and serve it cold, but we'll try it now. It's a unique Polish dessert made from several different layers of brightly colored marshmallow jelly topped with chocolate flakes. And they serve it out of the fridge. Serve it cold on a hot summer day. <laughs> Rip me off a piece. Rip me off a piece of that rainbow jelly bar. It smells good. That Ooh. would be a lot better cold. I love that. I love that too. Another little bite? Yeah. Mm. A little bit. Okay, I love that. Mm. Itchy's a fan. I really like that. That's really different and I really like it. Me too. I'd go five on that. Yeah, I'm going to go five on that one too. Alright. That's really good. And really different. Mm -hmm. Next. Lobster tails. What? A crunchy, slightly minty shell with a buttery peanut brittle with a hint of rum flavor. Crazy wow. Hair. What going Mint on there? and peanut brittle. All right, I'll go with it. It looks like... Um, peppermint from Grandma's house. Well, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like peppermint. A peppermint with a... It smells really good. With a... Not peanut brittle, but like a, what am I trying to say? Wow. Oh. I don't know. Anyway. Mm. Not bad. That's very different. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Did she try it? Yeah. Peanut and rum flavored her candy. The texture reminds me of a chico stick. The texture reminds me of a chico stick. Yeah. All right. What are we rating that one? I have three. I'd go two or three. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go two slash three. Okay. That was not yeah, one great. a flavor combination that I would seek out. Yeah. All right. And our last flavor. Oh, more snack. Plus for us. Oh, we've got a little bit of crumbliness going Tago on. Taco meringue cookies with lemon cream. Oh, wow. Our taco meringue cookies. Does that look good? Loaded a little bit. We do like meringues, so. Yes. I like meringues a lot. Oh. These are a bit powdered. Here. That may be why they don't frequently do meringue in these boxes. They look beautiful. Let's show the camera. Here. Let me hold it up here. Mm. It's very pretty. <laughs> this is a bad texture for me. <laughs> so it's a little too much like a chalk cardboard. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of like them. I kind of like the flavor. Though, the though. flavor is very good. Yeah. I would not eat them again because of the texture. Yeah, the... Uh, Hi. Oh, yes, I love no. you, too. Top, yeah, what do you call that? Is I'm like getting all this love because I'm holding the snack. <sighs> it is kind of chalky. Ugh, even her biting into it. But it's it a good texture for her. Yeah. Because it melts her mouth. All right, what are we going to give that? For three. flavor, I would give it a three. Yeah. yeah. All right. So our favorite, hands down, is going to be the rainbow marshmallow dobish thing. That was our favorite. That was really different. You all right? Chocolate crush, vanilla, vanilla marshmallow. It's got fruit jellies. It's got a lot going on, but it's delicious. Our runner-up... Well, for Holly and I, it was the milk fudge. Jake, probably. What do you think? You gave fours to the chips, the onion, cheese and onion chips, to the, um, the first candy, the chocolate plums. I say the chocolate plums. Those, those, I thought those were pretty good. Yeah. I'll go second for the chocolate plums for you. And the milk fudge for us. And then the worst yum. What was the worst? Probably the last one. Those meringue things. Well, we rated um, we rated the peanut butter coconut candy bar lower than that. I'd probably go with that too. Yeah, was that wasn't bad. very good. The peanut butter chocolate, <laughs> peanut butter coconut candy bar wasn't very good because it was just plain. And yeah. then the most unusual. What did you say was the most unusual? I'd say the rainbow thing. Yeah, probably the rainbow thing was the most unusual and also the one we liked the best. All right, so our clue for next month, let's see if we can figure it out. In April, we're grabbing the bull by its horns and heading to a place where it's sunny and warm. But there's more to this kingdom than beautiful beaches like lemons, cornets, and patatas fritas. I'm going to say Spain That's for the what rainbow I was bulls. Thinking. So we're going to guess Spain. Bulls, kingdom. All right. Sounds like Spain. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.